Good morning, folks. As we say goodbye to the large solar tornado on the south, know that today we've got eyes on a large sunspot group, Hawaii, the rainforest, Hurricane Bud, the Milky Way, tornadoes, and cosmology. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star, contemplating all possible meanings of silent as the grave. There is no eruptive behavior at this time. Things are quiet back here at Earth as well. But in a bit of bad news, the ACE and Discover data streams continue their issues. Cosmic rays plague Discover, and density bunches in the stream confound ACE. Luckily, we still have every other way to monitor geospace, which all show complete calm right now. But alas, this observer has little faith in the solar wind fleet in existence. This observer also has little faith in this active region, or rather, I have confidence that the Earth-facing quiet will remain strong, and this active region will have a tough road to hoe across the Earth-facing disk. The grouping has only a few umbra, with nice spread between the lead and the trailers. Negative polarity at the lead with the trailing spots is positive. Whether or not those spots get active, we'll be watching Saturday for the impact of solar wind from the dark northern coronal hole there. It'll be facing Earth tonight. Let's go to Hawaii, where the USGS Volcanoes team took an incredible video of lava hitting the ocean, and from a vantage point that allows us to peer back onto land all the way to the fissures shooting that lava high into the background. One of their webcams also caught the continued collapse of the summit. Bottom left, collapses continue as we took yet another eruption yesterday, a slight trend back towards stronger events, up from 5.2 in the days before. Let's do some aesthetically beautiful viewing here. Hurricane Bud first, which lost most of its strength overnight. And then we are on to the canopy, Brazilian rainforest. Using LIDAR scanning, we now not only have detailed maps, but are able to see where weather and human activities has reduced the foliage. And if you recall, the last fly-through about a year ago, they produced and they had those tiny leaves everywhere, but was still very fun to watch, while the new version shows much denser plant coverage of the treetop height area. Quick note on mergers and mini-clusters in the Milky Way halo. Turns out there have been some favorites played, a bit of cliquish behavior resulting in a disproportionately large merger population grouped together there. University of Oklahoma, NOAA, NSF Grant, and the conclusion is, tornadoes are fractal. That just came out of my mouth. They look at the patterning of the damage, the cyclonogenesis, and the scalability of vortex action in thunder cells and could come to no other conclusion. Last but not least, Enrico Fermi Institute at the University of Chicago are considered some of the top cosmological physicists on Earth, and they are working to nail down exactly why dark matter models do not work. They identify a number of issues that I believe electrical cosmology may actually help solve. If you missed last night's video, it is our earthquake outlook for the remainder of the year. Definitely check that out if you get a chance. And there is only one week remaining in pre-registration for Observing the Frontier 2019. I'd love to shake your hand in the desert, observatoryproject.com for more details. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.